Hey guys, here we go 101. And today we're doing a quick little video on how I do my thumbnails. So I've been getting questions on how do you do your thumbnails? How do you make your thumbnails? What do you use to get your thumbnails? And I will tell show you how and what I use. So I use this app called Thumbnail Maker. So it will look in the bottom left corner you can see it, it just has the thumbnail maker on it and has a red outline. So I'm going to be making a thumbnail for my plague video. So what you first do is just channel art too so you can do other stuff. Um, You go to thumbnail maker. And over here it gives you plenty of options like, oh, yeah, you, you also have to get like VIP to get some stuff. Some stuff's free, like you put two pictures there, have this here, have that. So you can do a lot of stuff, but for this one I'm just going to be doing regular. So you click on this little photo icon, and then you go to all your pictures. So I actually have quite a few pictures, but we're going to be using the zombie one that I um, screenshotted. For Samsung, you hold the power button and the home button to get a screenshot, and then I think for iPhone, you just hold the home button. Or maybe it's the same. I don't know. But that is the thumbnail. Alright. So now that I have the picture. Let's get the text. So there will be a little T button in the bottom. And it will tell you to type here. So I'm going to just say. Plague. Let's see what the video. Plague Incorporated. And no I didn't edit that. So Plague yeah, sometimes it will kick you out of it, but all you have to do is click back on it. So, plague. To plague. You know, got that. To plague. Incorporated. So, I just use a little big, but you can make it smaller with the little corner thing. Going in and out with your thumb or whatever finger you use. So, I'll put that up in here. And then, I don't know if you know this, you can place another text box by um, pressing the T again. And then I'll say, I did this. So, there you go. So you can change the look of it like new, before, after. Followers, pro, noob. But for now, I want to go with the default. I got this app recently, so I'm not going to know a lot of stuff. Like, change that back. Then, eh, it looks about the same. So, this one is um what design you want it to be. But then this one is how you want it to be. You have regular ABC. You got cursive. You got like typed so I think for a like zombie type effect I'm gonna look for one that fits that that one looks uh, that one that's locked it'd be good but it's only one ninety nine a month I think it said yeah I'll just keep I'll just stay with this put this down here then now you have the eye drop so you can do textures, which is what the inside looks like. And I'll make it red. And then you have gradient, which is um, another thing you can do. So you can do color, change the inside, gradient to change the inside, or texture. So you're not, I'm just going to go with simple, not yellow, red. No, dark red, that'd be better. And then now this one's for the outside. So I'm going to just do another red. And that looks pretty good. Alright, now let's go with the shadow. The shadow can be different colors. But for this one, make it black. Yeah, that's good, so it's like a shadow. So then you have radius, which is how much shadow you want. You can have no shadow, which I'm going to have. Opacity, which is how clear it is, I guess. And then you have angle, which is... Uh, usually it does something, but... I'll make another update video if anything changes. But I think since I did to a certain uh, editing, 
Dang. It doesn't know uh, when to do it. Alright, now we have the height of the letters. We have the width. Oh. So we have the height of that, width of that, and the corners. If you look, you can see it curved. So I don't want any of that. And then you have this, which I don't use, which is, I guess, the spacing or how big it is. Then you have different things like that and that. Put it back to the middle. Now you have 3D. So you have vertical where it can change. And then um, horizon or horizontal. Put that back in the middle. Yeah. All right. Now that I know the letters, let's move on to the stickers. Which is also a VRP feature. I'm not turning off. Oh my gosh. See, I told you I haven't used this a lot, so a little bit of a struggle. Alright, so that is how you work it. I will probably make a better video of this and update them on if you are still confused, which I wouldn't be that surprised about. Yeah. So it's pretty good for making thumbnails, but the only bad thing is that you have to pay for stuff, and it's a lot of stuff. But there's just, I made this in one take, and it's around 8.30. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to blow up the like button and crush that subscribe button. More videos like this. Oh wait, forgot. Oh my gosh. Really? Okay, be right back. So I have to remake it. I'm not gonna do all the extra stuff because I think that was happening. So you move on to here, and it will say loading. So you just wait for a while, and then ads. So you wait for that, then it'll take you to here. Remove watermark will probably cost money. Then you save it to put it back there. You share, you can share it to other people. Post to feature or upload to YouTube. So if you want this to be a thumbnail, you upload to YouTube. So in order for you to add it, you have to make the video first and then you add it later. So that's how I did all these other ones like Characters Pack New Jade's OP, the headbutt though. That one I had for a while, but I just did not have put it on there. Risk. Ooh, get him, Casey. And now we have Plague Incorporated. So just set that and then set his thumbnail. Loading. Loading. Alright, now it's there. So, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, Make sure to crush, the, crush that like button, blow up the, no, crush the like button and blow up that subscribe button for more videos like this. And I will be making, trying to make a video tomorrow. So if you're watching this, see you next time, creeps.